Today's show is sponsored by a former guest, the FinTech Group, and their solution for cannabis online companies and dispensaries to accept cashless payments. If you own a cannabis dispensary or a cannabis online business, you know that banking laws make it impossible for you to accept any form of payment other than cash. The FinTech Group finally provides an option that was previously not available. To learn more, go to fintechmerchantaccounts.com forward slash marijuana hyphen dispensaries. We're listening to Raising Cannabis Capital, episode 55. And now we are creating hubs. We are creating hubs in, for example, Dubai. We're creating a hub in Portland. And we create hubs uh, all around the world where we can put our products and then distribute from there. We are always looking for partners, uh, companies that can help us, that have knowledge of the local market, that know the growers, that understand our product and be the middleman between our production facility and the end user. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. I'm Dan Humiston, and on today's show, how this company based in Holland has created a product that replaces soil and is 100% biodegradable. Today on Raising Cannabis Capital, we are joined by Edward Van Rundren from Holland Bioproducts. Edward, welcome to the show. Well, happy to be on it. So Holland Bioproducts is based in the Netherlands, and that's that's where you are right now. Yes. I said this before we started taping, Edward, that you have your work cut out for you today because I have to admit, I have zero, no agro or horticulture experience at all. And I imagine a lot of our listeners, especially investors, have little or no experience. So so we're going to rely on you. To... Yeah, with our product, actually, you don't need any additional knowledge. It's simple. We replace soil. And a lot of growers are looking for soilless growing, and not only for env- environmental reasons, but also for automating your processes. So you can pick up our product, move it around, and don't harm the small plant that's growing inside. And wow. what we do is we, we created a, a plant plug made of jute. And jute is a water plant. They, they grow it in, in India and in Bangladesh. And it has a certain resistance of algae and mousse, and it's a strong fiber. We take that fiber and we create a mat. And inside that mat are smart flakes that's patented. That's our, our patented product. And those flakes are little sponges. So they hold the water and nutrients inside the material. Now we can determine with the number of flakes per square meter how dry or how wet your substrate should be. And then we create a mat and we cut the mat in small blocks. And we use those blocks to for your seed germination or for your cloning to fold in your sting. And then roots will emerge in time. And it's a fully biodegradable, compostable uh, product. So you don't leave a footprint. We feel that's the, actually the most important element of our product. Wow. So for instance, with cannabis, mm-hmm. you may have a different concentration of or flack yeah, yeah. in the pod? Is that how it would work? Yeah, you could determine how wet or how dry you want your plug, your, your substrate, your, your growing medium to be. And we, of course, know for cannabis how dry or how wet we want to produce our plug. But if you have another plant, if you want to grow lettuce or whatever, you need a different composition. Okay. And so we have, especially for, for the cannabis growing, uh, we have a, a folding plug. So it folds around your uh, clone, your stick, or you put your seed on top and then it grows. It has uh, room, it has air, it has moist, and uh, it feels uh, very comfortable in our substrate. Okay. Within the cannabis umbrella of strain, is that moisture level change? Do you find it pretty consistent for everyone? That mostly depends on your irrigation and also your system, whether you grow in pots or you grow on hydroponics, that will have an effect on growing medium. It will store a little bit of water and nutrients that goes with it, but it also, of course, lets go of it. So it has a maximum percentage of water absorption. Where other substrates fully drain, our plug holds a certain amount of water, and that's about 30% of its size. And if you irrigate, you add the water that has been taken from it, so you fill it up again. If you fill it and you leave it alone for a couple of days, no problem. It will still have water inside, so your crop won't die on you. Yeah, I saw that on your website. I think that's really a great feature. 
one of the mm-hmm. challenges you have with a podcast is that I can't show you a visual of what the pods look like. But, I, <laughs> but what I'm looking at on your about website. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I was just going to say, when I'm looking at it at the website, it, just to give our listeners sort of a visual, to me, it sort of looks like a long upside down pyramid and the little leaf is up on the top. So once you get to this stage where there's a little leaf on the top, yeah. what do they do with the pod at the next step? Ah, that's a good question. Okay, well, our plug is for your first stage. So for your seed germination or for getting roots on your clone. Uh, and then uh, when the roots are inside our medium, you take it from your germination cup and then you put it into soil. And the nice part of our product is that it will dissolve in the soil. If you take out the plant, if you harvest it and, and you throw away your plant, you can also throw away our plant. It has dissolved a little bit already in soil and you can throw it away. Don't leave uh, any footprint in the environmental reasons. Oh. Yeah, that's it because it's for your starting phase for seed germination and your clone, you're getting the roots. That's really simple and it's yeah. appar- apparently biodegradable. So it just Fully biodegradable, yeah. yeah. And the most important is compostable because everything is biodegradable if you wait 10 years or 20 years. <laughs> But it's compostable, so you pile it up, it will vanish. And if you have a a professional compost installation, it will be gone in one cycle. So where everybody says they are sustainable, this is truly a sustainable product because it digrades in time and it can go with you with the plant, no problem at all. And for for medical cannabis, if you extract the oil from it, it, uh, there is an issue on your substrate where it grows on. Because when it leaves juices inside the plant, it will also leave juices inside your oil. So you have to be very careful if you are in the medical cannabis industry, if you extract oil from the plant, where has it been growing on and in? And if you grow it on stone, you have an issue. If you grow it on foam, you could have an issue. That is why we have such an attention from the cannabis industry. They know, okay, this is an organic fiber, so it won't leave any juices that harm the oil and could also harm uh, the patient that is is using that very concentrated oil from the plant. Wow, that's really interesting. It's going to become a huge benefit as our testing becomes more sophisticated. I want to take a quick break to thank all of our Raising Cannabis Capital listeners and to remind you that you can support the show by subscribing to MJ Bulls Premium. It's only $4.99 per month, and you gain access to all previous Raising Cannabis Capital episodes, as well as all other MJ Bulls produced podcasts and exclusive content, including companies' investor pitch decks. Go to mjbulls.com and enter promo code RAISING to get your first month free. We've been talking mainly about plugs because that would apply to the cannabis industry. But in addition to that, you also produce mats, wraps, and pads. I guess a million dollar question is, you're in Holland. (laughs) Can you export your products all over the world? Uh, Yes, we can. So we did some applications already to move our products all around the world. Our product without a plant inside can be shipped all around the world. But there are growers that want to move our product together with a small plant growing inside to, for example, the United States. Well, there are import regulations that say you cannot import soil. Uh, So you need to clean out your your small plant, uh, you clean out the soil. Our product is granted permission to be imported into the United States with the plant inside because it doesn't contain any soil and there's no elements inside that could harm um, so we fully approved uh, to be imported into the United States. Yeah. Wow. That's a big benefit, especially given the fact that you're in Holland. But So where do you see Holland Bio Products' future? The idea is, is already originated, I don't know, six, seven years ago. But we started two years ago with Holland Bio Products. And so we now are in the phase that we ship out containers all around the world. First years, we did research and development. We focused on production. We focused on having a stable and good product. The first product should be the same as the million and and one product. Uh, So we have that under control. We can produce a lot of plugs every day, and we are ready to take orders and ship around the world. And now we are creating hubs. We are creating hubs in, for example, Dubai. We're creating a hub in Portland. And we create hubs all around the world where we can put our products, and then distribute from there. We are always looking for partners, uh, companies that can help us, that have knowledge of the local market, that know the growers, that understand our product and be the middleman between our production facility and the end user. 
So everybody is invited to, to take part in that uh, process. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. If you were looking for or if you were working uh, with strategic partners, because I know a lot of people in the industry are looking for opportunities like this. Professional growers and also on home growing market, we are always interested in partnering and there's a fair margin to be earned by that person. Okay. Well, we've been speaking with Edward Van Wonderen from Holland Bioproducts and we have all of his contact information on the MJ Bulls website. So if you're interested in learning more about being a strategic partner or purchasing their products, we have all the information. Edward, thanks for being on the show today. This is good stuff. It was great to be on the show. Thanks a lot for inviting me. You're welcome. Good luck. Thanks for listening to Raising Cannabis Capital. To learn more about today's guest or to become a guest, visit our website at mjbulls.com. Today's show was produced by MJ Bulls Media with original music produced in part by Jamie Humiston. I'm Dan Humiston, and you've been listening to the Raising Cannabis Capital Podcast. Podcast.